Um, okay. First of all, sorry for the mic. It's the same microphone I've used before, so it's horrible uh, noise. And second of all, excuse me for my voice because I have a uh, catched a cold, which is kind of amazing to do <laughs> in the middle of the summer. But uh, anyways, um, I have an idea here for Blender I want to flush out. Um, so basically it's, it's about uh, texture painting or like image painting when you create like a single image data block. Um, and um, there are no layers um, available when you paint. So if you wanna if you wanna have something layer based, you have to make like a single uh, image data block for each layer, and uh, then use like compositing nodes to mix them however however you want to mix them like add or uh, alpha over or multiply. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of workflow, but it's kind of a uh, hassle, and you can never like. It's not that fluent and you can't really see the results. Uh, you have to like see the result as a backdrop. You can't see it in um, uh, where, where you're actually painting. So my idea is to use something like this. Um, uh, okay, I had already done. Let's remove that one. I want to s use something like this. Um, uh, material when you're painting a material mode, texture paint. So, uh, like this idea is kind of great, where you can add like a diffuse color, translucency, specular, emit. Okay, these names are really old. I guess it's for Blender internal, uh, and it should probably be revamped into point eight when we get EV to match. Evie's uh, default shader in channel inputs like yeah. albedo or base color, metallic and stuff like that. Um, uh, but anyways, when you create one of those, you get you have this uh, kind of nice list of uh, paint slots, and you can paint on that. Um, Okay, I have to uh, read that image texture. Like so. So yeah, you can paint here. You, you have all these um, paint slots. Uh, hmm. If I do like that, it probably updates. So you have this list of paint slots. Um, what I would like to have is something like um, whoops, this list in uh, the image editor over here in the property panels but called layer or layer slots and as soon as you create a new um, uh, image data block let's call this cloudy image so when you create that one, uh, I'm gonna go out of edit mode so the UV islands uh, disappear. So when you create one of these uh, data slots, um, the first thing it should generate is like um, the uh, layer one. You should so you have like layer one here, and that's the one you're painting on. Um, if I go back to my original image I was painting on, just to show this. Uh, so you have like layer 1, uh, and it goes straight into the cloud uh, image. Uh, and if you create another layer, it should be represented here in the node editor also. So you should have something like this, called layer 2 and it should mix with layer 1 to produce the actual like image data block so you don't really have to think about this all the layers are uh, like internally packed with the blend file and um, uh, this factor could actually be like um, 
um, could actually be, be um, uh, could actually be like the the uh, layer mask. So if you have uh, this should actually be connected to like a another uh, layer or a layer mask that which is just a black and white image and you can as soon as you paint paint on it or it could use the alpha alpha um, value of the uh, next layer I'm gonna do it here layer 2 let's make it uh, white and with alpha 0 so if I paint something here though got something so it should actually um, probably have uh, like an alpha output also let's plug into uh, this uh, factor um, input now I should probably do something like this to just to show it lay to mask and it should be a white image with full opacity or let's make it a black image so it's automatically masking out by default by default so yeah this one um, if I probably paint some some something white here and just make it update but why doesn't this update as you see it's a bit buggy I guess I'm guessing this like this entire thing is super old the same thing with the material uh, paint slots I think it's like from blender internal but something like this revamped um, residing here in the like property panel of a uh, uh, image data block called like layer slots and w w as, y as you add layers you it's always represented um, with nodes which is quite common in blender for like all the cycle materials you have like this um, classic property uh, representation but everything can also be represented uh, in nodes so whatever you do here for the material whatever you add or change gets updated here so yeah something like that but for when you're painting uh, images or you're painting texture whatever um, it would be really nice if we ha if we had layers and uh, probably I was thinking about uh, like in the future for EV uh, the PBR PBR material uh, PBR rendering viewport um, but for uh, EV's default uh, shader you have um, uh, met metal I can show you actually I think I have maybe I have it downloaded always have a nightly build downloaded but it can be old oh crap I started started two instances yeah so no, not really view uh, no the editor so for uh, so you should have like a texture connected to almost all, all the inputs you're using like base color metallic sp specular um, normal but that's probably generated you're not gonna paint your normals I hope uh, but for all the others one you're gonna probably paint it um, so with a system like this maybe you could actually paint everything in in uh, one texture but that's probably no that's not gonna work you're gonna have like a base color but uh, if we're ever gonna have something like um, a multi-channel painting in blender this node based approach should probably be the way to go because um, 
one thing I would like like um, with this kind of approach is that if I'm painting something or painting a couple of layers, I can paint one layer mask and reuse it in this like node um, node compositor. This image I can reuse it and hook it up um, like much later on when I'm mixing another couple of layers. I can use the same um, like m mask image in several places and stuff like that. And that's probably going to be like really useful if I have multi-channel painting. Because let's say I'm painting a PBR material and I want to paint in the metallic channel. But uh, the metallic channel is just a black and white uh, input. But I want to paint uh, like a red metallic. So I paint uh, like red like this. So this color uh, stroke should go into the, the base color texture. And meanwhile, the like um, the strokes, uh, the strokes value, which is just black and white, should be added to the metallic texture. So I don't know exactly how to set that up, but uh, what I can imagine is like when you paint like this, uh, you have uh, some kind of uh, selection that I want to paint in the I want to paint in the metallic channel and then you just paint the color you want to paint and that ends up in the color texture and uh, the base color texture and uh, like the value of the strokes ends up in the metallic texture but enough of that I don't know that's so far in the future and uh, I don't even know how how the implementation is gonna go but for like basic painting image data block there would be really nice to have that um, uh, this uh, like some kind of uh, layer slots list or layers uh, over here in the properties panel so you can just add and add more layers and you have also this like node representation of all the layers that the combined results is the the image data block that you created so yeah that was just my thoughts and uh, it would be really cool to have i just want to say i tested the uh, ev no i tested a b painter add-on i bought it but um as i suspected it kind of messed up the the brushes i already had for some reason it added uh, pressure sensitivity on strength on all my brushes so uh, I disable it for now. I'm probably gonna re-enable it in the future when I'm painting like 3D models like this. But for now, uh, I'm set on painting just like these 2D paintings for a while. Um, but what was good with the uh, B painter is that you get like all these layers and uh, uh, layer masks, and you also got uh, adjustment layers for hue and saturation. But everything is um, focusing on painting in like in the 3d view on uh, on a like uh, on a object so whatever you have uh, all the layers and stuff is only appearing here and you have to be in uh, material uh, view to see the like the combined final results but I would like to have something like that that lives in the image editor so you can get layers and what you see is the combined combined result, and you can like change how the uh, how the layers are mixed, and you can make layer masks, and just paint here, and that would be really nice. So, if any developer has any input or <laughs> idea how to implement it, uh, yeah, that's just my thoughts, and it will really help out. So that's it. Bye.